Welcome back to the lab. We're going to talk about something that's kind of high end, but is going to impact all of us at some point. It is uh, something called Flex. It's, we're talking about scripting in a browser. Now, uh, when you go to a website nowadays, very often you'll be running something called JavaScript. It's something your browser understands. Right. It's a language. And, you know, even things like rollover buttons use JavaScript. A lot of even Flash players might use a JavaScript wrapper around them. A lot of websites use JavaScript now. The program runs on your computer not on the server, not right. on the web server, so it's fast. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's a, it's a great language. The problem is it's also a, a lousy standard, and there's all sorts of different <laughs> problems with JavaScript in yeah. every browser and everything. You know, it's a good standard. It's just unfortunately interpreted differently. Badly by, implemented. Badly implemented. Yeah. Well, good news. Adobe has kind of stepped into the fray here, and they've got something they call ActionScript. That's right. That's what's used in Flash, pretty much, right? Um, yeah, Flash is, Flash is, ac is ActionScript. And, uh, but it, I didn't know this. And, uh, Jim Rutherford, who's here from uh, Digital Media Minute, just told me that it really is just uh, the most recent version of JavaScript. Of JavaScript, yeah, that's correct. And um, is that, uh, Adobe is actually open sourced their ActionScript um, uh, as product wonderful. as Tamarin, and they've uh, they've donated it to Mozilla. So the next version of Mozilla will actually be using Adobe's um, uh, ECMAScript four engine for all of its JavaScript rendering. Can we expect Internet Explorer to do that, or no? I'm not sure. Um, uh, Microsoft seems to, to beat to They'd a different like to drum sometimes. Go to their own yeah, way. Yeah. The good news is you can install something called Air. That's right. And that will give you the capability of running these Flex programs yeah, well, on any platform. Well, and Flex runs right in a browser. Flex just uses um, the, the Flash player. Okay. So any browser that has a Flash player plugin can run. A, oh, can interesting. Run, can run a Flex. So application. if you install Flash on Internet Explorer, you're cool. Yeah, and and you know you're probably already running Flex applications without even knowing it. Oh, really? Uh, you know the YouTube player. Um, Google Video, they would be... They're um, in Flex? They, they, they most likely are, yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So, um, so we're going to talk about making your own Flex application. Yeah, a little, a, a little widget. And um, if, if you're in school right now, maybe you're a high school or college student, you're thinking about computer science, this would be a good thing to learn, I think. I, I think it's a, it's a good part of anybody's toolkit. You know, I don't, it's, yeah. it's not going to replace the web, but it's going right. to be something that will enhance the web. Right. And, uh, you and know, if, using the right places, it, it can be very, very effective. If JavaScript or Flash or any measure is probably going to be ubiquitous, it'll be, it'll be everywhere you so. go. Yeah. 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 So, uh, this is a, a text browser we're in right now, yeah? Yeah, this is, um, uh, um, what I'm going to show you is how, to, is how we can create a, a simple um, RSS widget using Macromedia okay. Flex. Um, just a couple points to talk about um, Adobe Flex. I keep calling it Macromedia because it's... Used they, they used to be Macromedia. Yeah. Yep. Um, and um, uh, we can download the Flex SDK from the Adobe site. It's completely free. That's the um, software developer's that's kit. That's the software developer's kit, and that allows you to create Flex applications. Okay. Um, the Flex SDK is open source. So this isn't, you know, closed technology that Adobe I is. I like that. Yeah. I, I'm always so, reluctant to, to, to adopt something proprietary. That's right. Yeah. So, so they've, they've gone through great efforts to, to really contribute this back to the open source good, community. Good. Um, and um, so, yeah, so when we talk about Flex, we're really talking about um, you build Flex with, uh, with three things. First is an XML declarative language, um, which, is, um, which is called MXML. And this is uh, Adobe's uh, markup language for creating Flex applications. Um, we use ActionScript to add behavior to our, our Flex application. So behavior being, you know, when we click on a button, what, what does it change on the page? Um, and then we use CSS for styling the application. So there's, there are lots of standards involved in, in Macromedia or Adobe Flex, which a lot of people aren't, aren't aware of. This so, is very much like web page design yeah, would be. I mean, yeah. there's not much difference, yeah. really. And, and let's take a look. I, I just, this is just a very simple um, M MXML file. Um, and it's an XML file. We have a, an MX colon application. Um, and uh, we give it a height and a width. So again, it's starting to look a little bit like a, like HTML. It's a mm -hmm. different language, but mm -hmm. but very similar. We have you know we have tags. Um, here we have a, a label tag. Um, we're going to put some text and label called Simple Flex Application. We're going to give it an ID just so we can refer to this later. And we're going to say font weight bold. We're also going to add a button here with a label called Click Me. And when we click on the button, we're going to set my label, which is this guy right here, and we're going to set its visibility to false. Okay. Um, so if we um, once we once we do this, we have to go and compile it using using the command line, and it's a very simple command: mxmlc, and then the name of the file that we want to compile. We press enter, and it compiles it. That program is part of the SDK. The SDK, and it's completely free. Um, so now if we go to our browser, here's our our little. Um, that's it. That's it. Now you have an application. Now we have an application. We click <laughs> click me, and and it goes away. <laughs> So, wow, that was you know, pretty easy. Pretty easy, and um, uh, Adobe gives us about 30 different types of controls, like buttons and labels that we can work with. Some of them are very sophisticated, and some of them are, are fairly basic like this. Now, to do a simple RSS um, widget, um, this is what our, our, our whole RSS widget would look like. So um, it's just a combination of, of, of the, um, the uh, MXML elements and mm -hmm. some style 
we've got a bit of a of, of JavaScript or of action script code here. So we have our application, we set a height and width, um, and then we have um, an HTTP service um, element. And what this does is this goes out and, and, and grabs the RSS feed from the web and brings it back into the Flex application so that the Flex application can use it. Um, we have a label here, so the label is uh, has text of digital media in it, so we're going to be using my feed. Um, and then we've just got a box here, and the box is just a container um, a component that allows us to add, do things like attach a scroll bar to it so we can scroll the feed. Um, and then we have a repeater element, and this just lets us repeat anything that's contained within that element. Because there's more than one item in your feed. That's right. This just kind of goes, every item that shows yeah. up, it does this. It repeats it again and over again. And over and okay. over. And what it's going to repeat is a link button. Okay. And the link button will um, contain text from the title of the current item in the feed. Um, and then on click, it's going to navigate to a new URL um, based on the link element of the RSS feed. Um, and uh, then we have some style application applied to it. So if we go and execute this, or we'll go and compile it, so MXMLC. What's the output of the compilation? Is it a, it, is it's a flash Swift. file? It is, it's, it's an SWF yeah, file. Yeah, an SWF file. Okay. And so we would then embed that in an HTML page, exactly. just as you would embed any flash. Yeah, yeah. And then when we reload. The nice thing about that is that many people, almost everybody has flash installed, so this would work almost, look at that. Yeah, there this it is. This would work on almost any web page. It would work on any web page, absolutely. If, it, if you didn't have flash, it would say there's a, you need to have flash. Yeah, and it would, it would direct you to the page to download flash right. and install it. Um, the flash slick. player penetration is about 96%. So yeah, it's, even, it's, on, even on Linux. Yes. So it's, yes. that's great. I mean, yeah. That's really so, great. Uh, yeah. Um, and um, yeah, so it's quite cool. And uh, it, really, all the magic here is uh, we have a data provider attached to our repeater. Which it's all in says, one little piece of code. All one piece, one little piece of code. It's pretty amazing. Um, yeah, and here you can see the CSS. So um, uh, that's the design. And yeah. I think this is the interesting thing about Flex is that um, if you're a web developer, you already know JavaScript. Right. So ActionScript is going to be a little easy. bit, a little bit yeah. of a learning curve, but you know you already you already right. know that language. Um, CSS, which is which is extensively used to everywhere to, to style your application. If you're developing web pages, you've probably used CSS right. before. And um, everything else here is just, is just XML. Now, it sounds like the most important thing to do is to learn all the attributes, all the, all the little fiddly bits. And yeah. where is a good place to learn that stuff? Where's the language best documented? Um, is Adobe's documentation Adobe pretty good? Adobe has fantastic documentation. Um, when you get the SDK, you can also um, go and download. Uh, there's over 2,000 pages of documentation wow. in PDF format. Um, there's a great community around Flex. Um, there's uh, there, there's uh, Adobe has some blog aggregators. This is all pretty new. Would you say that though this is going to be one of the web technologies that really takes off? Um, yeah, I think it will. I, I think uh, you know when you couple Flex with Adobe Air and and the ability to to create desktop applications from your Flex application. Well, that's a whole other story. That's a whole other story. But you basically got something embedded in a web page yeah. here. But if you have the Air runtime, as yeah. many people are downloading, it's free. Yeah. Suddenly, this becomes a standalone application. Doesn't That's even right. need a web browser. That's right. And, and the Air SDK is also free. Yeah. So you know you could create a desktop application using nothing but free tools from from Adobe. Very interesting. Now, Adobe does sell some products around Flex, so they do sell an IDE. It's I think it's about five hundred dollars US. That's the programming it, environment. Make it easier yeah, to write. Yeah, make it easier to work with. Um, you know, if you just want to dabble in it, the SDK right. is fine. If you want to work in it professionally, get away from the command line. Get away from the command line. Yeah. Uh, you know, get get Flex Builder. It's it's worth it's worth every penny you pay for it. This sounds like and, a really um, exciting technology. Yeah, it's yeah. really exciting technology. It's an exciting time I think for the for the Adobe people and. and do Flex. you know of some good web pages that we could see this in? action? Do you know somebody who's using this a lot? You can't really tell because it looks just like Flash. It does look just like Flash, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, 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 the one thing I've used is Pounce has a, Pounce, Pounce which is P-O-W-N-C-E dot com, has a uh, air-based desktop client, Windows Scrap, and Scrap Blog. Scrap Blog. Blog is uh, scrapblog.com. A lot of the, flex. It's all flex. Very interesting. Yeah.